Hey, what's up everybody? Jake here and welcome to the hobby. Today we are doing an early review of the Scarlet and Violet set Twilight Masquerade. The Pokemon company was nice enough to send me an early review copy of Twilight Masquerade. So we are going to be cracking open this brand new booster box. If you don't know, whenever the Pokemon company sent me some stuff for uh, pack openings or reviews or whatever of that nature, if I get any good hits, I always give them away. So Hopefully we get some really good hits from today's booster box. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, I'm gonna be giving away every single hit from today's video. Click the link down in the description to enter for your chance to win all the hits from today's video. There are going to be some really good hits from Twilight Masquerade. The special illustration rare, specifically the full art trainer ones, I think they all look really good. There's four special illustration rares inside of this set and all four of them for the full art trainers are fantastic. There's also a bunch of really good illustration rare. I do think the most popular one is probably gonna be the Eevee. Fun story about the Eevee one. Some people have already done a couple of fan theories on it because the illustration rare does show eight different Eevees. So if you do the math, technically there's enough Eevee for every single Eevee illusion that you can think of. So perhaps each one of the Eevees represent one of the Eevee illusions. Um, I'm not really sure. I think that that theory is definitely cooking, but who knows, maybe someone will discover something really cool from it. There is also a really nice Growlithe and Perrin illustration rare combo. I think that's really adorable where you have the Growlithe at the feet of their trainer. So there are some really nice combo artwork from this set. The special illustration rare Pokemon, the actual Pokemon, there's a couple of interesting th ones. Ooh, we got a nice ace back card right there. There's a couple of really interesting one. I do think the big heavy hitter is probably gonna be the Greninja, the Greninja special illustration rare. That one just looks really fantastic. It's gorgeous. Some of the other ones like the Ursaluna are not bad, but the big set mascot, the Ogre Pond, I do think that one's a little bit of a miss. There's four Ogre Pond special illustration rare in this set, and they do make a strong set as a four card combo. It's not bad, but the full art special illustration rares could have absolutely had some additional work done. I understand where the artist's direction was going with them, but they I feel like they're a little bit of a miss. They're not as good as some of the other special illustration rares, and that's purely because I don't know if Ogre Pond's personality really shines. It's not in a, a special illustration rare where there's a ton going on in the art. It's definitely more on the creative side. It's very abstract. Um, so maybe it could become a big heavy chase card in four years or maybe Ogre Pond is the most popular card from this set because it's super playable and people actually really enjoy the special illustration rares. But that's not the vibe I'm getting. I think the big chase illustration rare is probably going to be the Greninja. Oh, there's one of the Ogre Pond full art cards. Yeah. The special illustration rare is of a very similar design. They almost look like extended versions of the full art. So we're gonna add that to the giveaway. Hopefully we can get some other really cool hits. With English Booster Box, you are not guaranteed anything. I've seen some people who say they cracked open whole entire booster boxes and got very few or zero illustration rares, no special illustration rares. It's absolutely possible for that to be the case. I'm really hoping we pull something good because I would love to give away some really cool cards. So I think those are the major hitters. Even if you don't get any of the big hits, I think there's quite a few illustration rares from this set that are quite uh, exciting. I was able to pre-order Twilight Masquerade for $90 a booster box, but the prices on these booster boxes from the pre-orders have gone up quite a bit. There's the Greninja EX. Very, very cool. So yeah, the prices on the pre-orders for this box has definitely gone up. It's gone over a hundred bucks. These are going for well over a hundred bucks. So I'm pretty happy that I got my pre-order in for 90, but I think that's just because of how spicy the modern po Pokemon card market is right now. Modern Pokemon cards are just very, very hot right now. People absolutely love to collect modern Pokemon cards. These are so incredibly popular. Have you guys seen the prices 
um, the Umbreon V Max from Evolving Skies. It's going for close to a thousand dollars, and you're seeing ripple effects throughout a bunch of other sets, Lost Origin, um, Astral Radiance. Even some of the more modern sets like Paldea Evolved is really starting to climb in value. Even though they're they're pretty modern, at its lowest point you could pick up Paldea Evolved or Scarlet and Violet Base for well under uh, 80 bucks even. But now the prices are starting to starting to climb a little bit. I really don't know which one of these A specs are really super strong. I do know that from the last set, um, the uh, Great Catcher. The Primal Catcher, something like that. A really, really good TCG, competitively viable card. One of the A specs was going for 30 bucks, and I think it's still maintaining that price point. So, pretty wild. Because it doesn't feel like these A specs are that hard to pull. So, you never know with those special trading card, specifically competitively viable cards. So, some of those can be very, very expensive. What I'm feeling though is. This is a bit of a dry spell. Where are all of our illustration rares, you know? I think that's going to be one of the issues is that I kind of like seeing some hits, which is why Crown Zenith to me was one of my fan, fan favorite set. I absolutely love Crown Zenith. And that's because if I crack open just a couple of booster packs, I immediately start getting some, some fun hits. They might not be expensive or valuable hits, but I'm getting fun because there's just a bunch of really cool artworks. And we are getting some EX and some A specs, but I really want to see some of the spectacular arts in this new set because there's quite a few of really nice ones. This set is hot in terms of like the actual illustration rare. I do think the weakest part of the set is the Ogre Pond special illustration rares, but the full art trainers and some of the base regular illustration rares are really spicy. So it's going to be interesting to see where the top cards from this set are going to be. I do think the Greninja EX is going to be the big one for this set. But does Greninja really carry enough value or enough popularity to carry a set? Greninja is popular. Greninja is one of the top 10 most popular Pokemon of modern times. Uh, well voted into that realm. I guess people just love the Ninja Frog, but it makes sense. So who knows? Greninja has serious potential. The Ninja has serious potential as being a modern chase card. So we'll just have to see what I'm really looking for. The illustration rares. Give me some of the ones because I've been talking about them and we haven't hit a single one. Is this it? No, Infern Ape. This is not looking good for the giveaway. I mean, the Pokemon company, they were supposed to send me a loaded box. That was our agreement. That is not our agreement at all. Don't put that on the Pokemon company, but it is a joke. Anyway, I'm really hoping to get something really good. Oh, we got the Ogre's Mask. All four Ogre Pawn masks in that art. We got more Pego Holographic Reverse. Still no illustration rare. All right, I'm gonna grab one from the back. I bet you they're all in the back. I've been grabbing them from the front. Let's try the one in the back. Some of these packs are folded into this box very obscurely. They look kind of weird inside the box. Watch, it's gonna be inside of this pack. This is going to be the pack. I can feel it. Maybe it's not. I don't really know. You kind of see something shiny in the back of every pack. But honestly, there's a hollow in every single pack. So yeah, like Alakazam. Alakazam. Hollow rare. We'll try again from the back. This is not looking good, guys. This is not looking good. We might have an Oreo situation where the cream is in the center. All the hits are going to be in the center. That might be what's happening here because this is another pack from the back we gotta get a hit eventually there we go we got ourselves the Laron illustration rare nothing too spicy on that one but i'm pretty happy to pull any illustration rare so yeah i do love all these new illustration rares they're doing a great job of showing the pokemon in their natural environment and that's a really cool one all right let's keep it going keep it going some of the other illustration rares that I'm excited to pull, if I can pull them from this box, um, would be the Tatsugiri. That one looks really, really good. I think Applin and Diplin are also kind of interesting. They're very different. I want them both for different reasons. So both of those are very good. Uh, the Chansey, the Chansey looks really, really good as well. 
There's just a bunch of really good ones. All of the illustration rares have been really top notch. And it's very interesting because they're so different. Wow, check out that Eevee. It's a common Eevee, but that's a really nice one. So yeah, all the illustration rare, ooh, the illustration rare. Oh my goodness, we got the Probo Pass. Probo, Probo Pass. Wow, that is really nice. It's done in the same kind of art style as the recent 151 Pikachu, I think. It's done very similar. If you guys think about it, this is a really close one to the illustration rare Pikachu. I like it though. This is really cool. They're doing such a good job with these illustration rares. The Pokemon Company, they're cooking guys. These are nice hits. Very, very cool. All right, let's keep on going. Two illustration rares so far. My goal is six illustration rare inside of a booster box. I think six illustration rare per booster box is probably the uh, the sweet number. I think that's perfect. I think that's the number that I would land at in terms of how many I would like to pull from a box. 36 packs, six special illustration rares. Not six special illustration rares, just illustration rares. Any, these are just two regular illustration rares so far. We haven't got any major hits. None of these cards are gonna really bring back the value of full booster box and if you're opening up a booster box you're probably not going to get back the full value of your box anyway but i do enjoy cracking open all the new ones we still got quite a few packs to go through but not that many we've been through well over half of the box and i'm not seeing that big chase card yet like i'm saying we could have an oreo situation where all of the hits are right in the center Couple more packs and hopefully we get ourselves that special illustration rare. You're not guaranteed a special illustration rare inside of a booster box, which is a little bit unfortunate. I think with the amount of special illustration rares there are, the Pokemon company can probably do something like that. There's uh, four special illustration rare for trainer cards and there's seven, there's seven. Uh, Pokemon illustration rare of the special illustration rares, so that's 11 special illustration rares And if you think about like the gold rares if you count those in the same slot They can easily do one per box and even if you crack open 12 16 booster boxes, you're still Not gonna get everything from the set, but maybe that would devalue the cards too much. I don't think it will I personally don't think it will so hopefully we pull something really good. I think the math makes perfect sense for us to pull at least one special illustration rare per box. The math makes sense to me. The Pokemon company just has never done that uh, ratio before. It's usually like one special illustration rare inside of every single like three booster box. If you looked at the last set, I think it was like one in every single like a hundred packs, you'd get one really, really big hit. There we go, we got ourselves the Teal Mask Ogre Pond. Pulled uh, two Ogre Ponds so far. We pulled the Greninja EX. So this is our fifth EX card and our, yeah, our fifth EX card and we've pulled two Illustration Rares and two A Specs. The hits aren't bad, like this is this is decent. I just want to see some more of the, the special art. I think for a box, I would just wanna see one. That's all we're asking for here. It's for a good cause, the Pokemon Company. We're doing it for a giveaway. Twilight Masquerade. This is probably gonna be a very middle of the road set. If you're excited for it, you can be. There are some really good hits. Like I said, the Eevee Special Illustration Rare, or the Eevee Illustration Rare, I just keep getting that mixed up. The Eevee one is probably gonna be the big uh, regular Illustration Rare. I don't think it's gonna be on the same level as the Magic Carp from uh, Lost Origin, but it's still a very good card. You know, it's still a very good card. It's not gonna be a Magikarp level card, but it could still carry 20 to $30 worth of value. I do think the full art trainer ones are gonna be some of the big ones from this set. I don't think Ogre Pond is super interesting as a, as a special illustration rare. They could have cooked those a little bit longer in the oven. Maybe come up with a slightly cooler design. I don't want to jab at the artist. They were going for something. I just think it was a miss. But to each their own, it, it could be possible that in five years, everyone wants an Ogre Pond card. You really don't know where uh, people's taste in some of the arts can really go. 
some of the top hitters from prior years are really starting to get their appreciation right now. So yeah, Twilight Masquerade might be a middle of the road set right now, something like a chilling rain, but in five years, people might go back to this set and be like, oh my goodness, this set had the uh, the uh, Eevee illustration rare, it has the Greninja special illustration rare. This set is an absolute banger. And that might be people's opinion in five years. We just don't know. So it is interesting that right now, the big hot sauce is pretty much modern sets. Modern sets are pretty much the big hot sauce. Everyone wants to see which set is gonna be the next one to climb. It was Evolving Skies, then it was Fusion Strike. Uh, people are talking about how Lost Origin, uh, Astral Radiance, and Brilliant Stars are all sold out from the Pokemon Center. Who knows, the Pokemon Center can continue to do race box of them whenever they feel like. The Pokemon Company does not uh, go on a seasonal basis where if they sell out of something, they can always restock. They just recently did a restock of products from the Great Felt Hat promotion. So you could got some of those uh, Van Gogh Pokemon products. Not the card, but some of the recent products did get restocked. So it's interesting to see what comes back. We're down to our final three packs and this booster box was not it for me. This was not a good booster box. Hopefully these last three packs make up for it. One big hit can make up for it. This is not a bad spread. I'm just waiting to, get, to see that gold rare, that secret rare, something really, really, really big. That'd be really cool. Uh, if we don't get one of those, we don't get one of those and we'll just give away what's, what's wh whatever is the rest of these cards are. And hey, not bad. We got ourselves the Perrin 4 card, not the special illustration rare version, just the regular 4 trainer version, but still very, very nice. This is one of the better ones. She's pretty cool. Very nice art. I love her design, especially the hair. The hair is really, really cool. So that's a nice 4 trainer card. We'll sleeve up that bad boy for now. And we got ourselves two more packs. Two more packs. One 4 trainer card is typical for a booster box. You can expect around one uh, from your booster box. We got two more packs to go. Let's see if we get that special illustration rare. Two packs to go, can we do it? I hope so. I'm really hoping so. This is not for me, this is for whoever wins these cards. So hopefully we get something really good. Uh, what would you guys want from your box? What would be the best hit? Ooh, a Blissey EX, we'll take that. All right, we'll take that, add it to the giveaway. Final pack. Final pack. This is for all of the value. This set better be, this pack better be so heavy. It might not be, and this just might be a, a kind of like a, a slightly below average box, honestly. Any box where you don't even get a single special illustration rare, regardless of a, whether it being good or bad, would probably be kind of a lower end box. And no, we got ourselves a second Frost Blast Hollow Rare. So definitely. A lighter box definitely on the lighter box we pulled ourselves two illustration rare one full art trainer card and really not much else so definitely uh, I think this has been really enlightening I think this is a good experience for you guys to see so that you're not actually completely hyped up for this because this could very well be potentially your box hopefully one of the a specs cars are gonna be really valuable I really don't know what the value on some of these cards are just because this is a brand new set. It's not out yet. It's not gonna be out for the next couple of weeks. You can go to pre-releases for it very, very soon. But if you'd like to check out Twilight Masquerade, maybe you already have it pre-ordered. I already have a couple of boxes pre-ordered and hopefully my own booster boxes in a couple of weeks are gonna be better hits than this. But yeah, if you'd like to enter a giveaway, win this parent full art card, win these illustration rares, and get all of these A specs and EX card, enter the link down in the description if you weren't able to pre-order any boxes. Maybe you can still win some illustration rares and full art cards for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I would say this has definitely uh, been a mediocre box. I would give it a two out of five, but perhaps when I open up my own personal box, uh, it can be a lot better. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.